Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be playing some more Minecraft. And as you can see, there is an update to Minecraft. This was the 1.18 Caves and Cliffs Part 2 update. And today I'm thinking of creating a new world just to explore all the things that they added. So I'll just name it Caves. Um and cliffs part two okay and it doesn't look like they added any seeds to this update so no particular seed we're gonna use um oh vanilla experiments that changed it used to be caves and cliffs experiments but i guess they did just release that Alrighty, so let's see, there's no caves or mountains right over here, but let's look here. Did they add anything? Um, oh, they added the skulk things. Weren't those supposed to come in the next update the wild update oh it might be because i'm using vanilla experiments right now but this would have been really useful uh, once i was making my wild update mod so we have just normal skulk it's cool then we have skulk veins does it work like the glow lichen, I wonder? Can we use bone meal on it? No. Uh, we have a skull catalyst. And then we have a skull shrieker. Huh. It's cool. Oh, and we have the darkness effect. That's really cool. But are we able to use it multiple times? I'm not sure if we can. Oh. Weird. Um. I feel like they also added a new music disc. Uh. Which. It was called The Other Side. It was. Made by the person who did Pig Step. Oh, yeah. That looks cool. Uh, I'm not going to play it right now because I'm not sure if the sound coming from Minecraft plays in my videos. Um, oh. The water definitely looks really different since there's now the new caves. Definitely looks more realistic. Oh, what's that over there? Oh! There's a mountain. And then that's just some deformed trees. Oh! There's also a cave. Wow. This is a cool cave. Got some deep slate, tough. It's cool. I want to explore it more, but I don't want to lose the mountain. Um, wish there was a quicker way to get to the surface. Where was the mountain? Oh, over there. So they added several types of mountains and caves. I don't remember uh, what the names of them were. I know that there is a name for this type with all the ice on top it's definitely really cool up here I really like how high mountains can get now and they also updated the block limit so mountains can get really tall uh, 
Let's see. Are we close to the clock limit? Okay. Um this mountain could definitely Mountains get a lot higher in this update, apparently. So that's cool. Not too many goats up here, though. So now I think I explored mostly what the, cave, the cliffs would look like. Now we also have the caves, which this is a Dripstone cave. I was about to say deep slate for some reason. Um, nothing much over here. Oh, there's a lush cave. Oh. Nothing much in that dungeon, or at least nothing useful. Well, I think that's mostly all that they added for Bedrock players, which is what I'm playing on right now. I feel like most of this update was for Java Edition players because, uh, Bedrock Edition players had the Caves and Cliffs experimental features, so we were already able to like see what the mountains were going to look like, and the caves, which in the IDK SMP, we actually have those on, and now we have the Skulk things, the vanilla experiments on. Uh, but yeah, most of the stuff it seemed was all new things for Java Edition players, so this was just a quick video. I decided I should probably post for the weekend because I may not have time to do it this week. So uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.